and welcome back to Lama Screen Music Studio. Now I'm going to show you how to properly clean the clarinet and put it away after you're done with your practice. First, you disassemble the mouthpiece. You take off the mouthpiece cap, put it away, hold the reed with your left thumb, unscrew the ligature, and first take off the ligature. Be careful of the tip of the reed. Then you take off the reed, clean off any water that was holding there and then put it back in a plastic cap starting at the bottom and then going through in the top making sure that the tip is intact then you unscrew the mouthpiece and then what I do is I blow through this part and then clean the part here with my cloth because the overuse of the pull-through can damage the facing of the mouthpiece. Once I'm done with that, I take on uh, the ligature, put it over the mouthpiece like this, tighten it, not too much, put over the mouthpiece cap, and put the clarinet away. Now I move on to the rest of the clarinet. So I swap the clarinet around, so I put it on its head, even though it doesn't have a head. And then I put the pull through, through, like this, until the other part comes through. Now comes the important part. Make sure you hold the barrel in the upper joint, like this. Don't hold the clarinet here and then pull through, because one of these parts might fall off, and you don't want that. Um, so, I'm holding the barrel, and the upper joint like this and then I make sure I slowly pull through like this if in any case you feel that the pull through is jamming a little bit make sure you don't pull you have to just leave it there and see if you can pull on these outer parts a little bit you don't want the cloth to be stuck inside because it's very difficult to get it out so once you're done with that, you turn the clarinet around and then again hold the upper part like this, so upper joint, untwist the barrel, put it in the case, then hold the lower joint here and then upper joint here or here, and then again press this bridge key and then rotate towards the thumb rest and then out. Do not rotate in the other direction because you might be hitting these keys together and that can be very dangerous. And then put this upper joint here and then again the same thing. Hold the bell and then unscrew it like this. And then put away the last two parts. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you at the next video.